On this day in Southern labor history, May 19, 1920, the small West Virginia town of Matawan erupted in a shootout between striking coal miners and private detectives hired by their employer. Facing hazardous and unfair conditions, mine workers at the Stone Mountain Coal Company went on strike demanding recognition of the United Mine Workers of America in early spring 1920. The miners were attacked and threatened by Baldwin Feltz Detective Agency, a private police force which was known for its role in violently suppressing worker organizing. On the morning of May 19th, Baldwin Feltz agents began to evict the families of striking workers from their homes. In the center of town, the agents were stopped by Matt one Chief of Police Sid Hatfield and Mayor Cabell Testerman. As the agents were presented with warrants for their arrest, a gunshot rang out, prompting both sides to open fire. By the time the firing stopped, ten were dead, including two mine workers, Mayor Cabell Testerman, and seven Baldwin Feltz agents. The rest of the agents fled the city of Matawan, a temporary victory for the miners. After the shootout, Sid Hatfield and others stood trial for murder but were all acquitted. For his role in driving Baldwin Feltz agents out of Matawan, Hatfield became a beloved celebrity in the mining camps of West Virginia. Baldwin Feltz agents seeking vengeance for the Matawan shootout, tracked down Sid Hatfield to the steps of the McDowell County Courthouse, where he was assassinated while unarmed on August 1, 1921. Although the Battle of Matawan did not lead to lasting victory for the miners, it became a symbol of the dramatic battles that shaped the triumph of the UMWA more than a decade later in 1933.